Hi, it's Russ from Pro Tools Expert, and I've been taking a look at the new UAD Dangerous Backs EQ, a model of the hardware, which many mix engineers and mastering engineers have been using for quite a long time. Uh, the bonus of this one is you get two plugins in one. You get the standard uh, stereo one, which you can use over your mix bus, and you can also use it on individual channels. You could use it uh, in vocals, guitars, uh, bass, drums, all sorts of stuff. And you could use it either on mono or stereo channels. Then the bonus as well with this one is you get the MS, you get the mid-side processing as well. And that can be really helpful. And I'm going to really concentrate on that. First, a little explanation. There's a great video over on the UAD site already that explains it. But uh, And I've also checked out with Dirk uh, over at uh, Brainworks, uh, who says that this is an exact replica of the original one. Uh, so if you're a hardware user, then you'll be pleasantly surprised by this one. And of course, the benefit is you can then use it on several buses or you could use it on different tracks. You could use it as a recording uh, plugin as well as a, a mix and mastering plugin. So for those who are not used to this, and I, I only came to it yesterday, I've ne never used the hardware myself, is that uh, it uses the, 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 gen the gentle Baxendale EQs, which have very specific curves. And in some ways, it's a bit like the pull tech trick that we sometimes use when we're doing mixing, which is basically you have a cut and a shelf that you use at the same time. So you boost either top or bottom EQs. You can see here, we have the cut here running around there with the different frequencies. And then we have the, the shelf as well. So you can choose a cut and a shelf frequency, and then you can boost. And then the good news is that basically you can get very good thick bottom ends without them getting too muddy or very nice top ends without them getting too harsh. So you get right into these kind of air, air frequencies to add air into a sound like 18, uh, 18 kilohertz up there and right down at the bottom here. Uh, and you can either use the, you can turn the cuts off altogether and just use it as a shelving EQ on either side. Now I'm showing you the mid side processing version, which means that we can then control the, the center and the sides as well, which means we can make very big wide mixes and, and bring stuff up in the center of the mix. So if you've got a troublesome track where the vocals disappeared, I'll show you on this track. Now this track is, uh, most of you will not be aware that James, who's part of the team, James Ivy. Is part of a, a band that obviously that, that do, kind of do party band basically, and do 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 but do very big gigs uh, to several thousand doing covers. So he's let me given me permission. I've just mixed this track for him, which is a track you'll recognise straight away, which is uh, Kings of Leon. Uh, Your sex is on fire. And uh, I added this to the mix bus at the end just to try it. So uh, I'm going to turn it uh, off for a second and just just play you some of the track, then show you how it can be used. I'm just going to go further into the track, actually. I'm going to get to a bit where there's a vocal going, uh, which is here. So with the mid-side processing, that's it in now. So the bottom end's getting cleaner. There's the bottom end. Now, the reason that this is really cool is if we turn the cut off altogether, turn it off, so it's... You've got all that muddiness now. Get really tight bottom end. lovely and subtle and then as I say with the high frequency there I was just pushing that up and also the high fre frequency you can start really up high with like the air band sort of frequencies up there at 18k and then you can have a cut at about uh, down at 18 as well or even down at 12 to get rid of some of the harshness so you've got the best of both worlds really so if I just play you the centers Don't make a sound. you can hear that pick in the vocal up there Turn that back out. Do it dropping back again. I'll leave it out for a sec. Feel the bass and vocal coming in. 
And where the the uh, the sides work then, of course, is like if you hear those guitars, there's lots of stereo guitars. If we bring them back into the center for a sec, then we can push them out using the mid-side processing. <laughs> Pull them back in. The break of the day. And while I'm driving, while I'm driving. Let's leave that for a minute, then I'll turn it back off. Some lips are open. The knuckles are pale. Feels like you're dying. You're dying. Yeah. Let's see back off. really adds some some space and some size to the mix uh, and it's subtle uh, that's the whole point of it it's not meant to be sort of an extreme equalizer it's meant to be that finishing polish on a mix uh, now some really great presets from fab dupont who who uses the hardware one and he was part of the test team that tested this and he says as well that uh, I, I had a chat with him uh, yesterday on facebook and he was telling me yesterday that uh, that it really is like the hardware and uh, so we've got some great uh, different uh, as I say, uh, presets from him. Get me words in there. And then we have a link working there, so we can link that, or we can turn MS off altogether and use it in, in, in right and left again. So the link means that they'll work together, these controllers. But there's some, as I say, some of them, so so uh, the really nice one that I'm really got here, he's got a like a side energy and tight center. <laughs> Hear those guitars really pushing out. Just taste it. And there's a Hammond organ there sitting in the back of that track, uh, and that's really pushing that out as well. I love the way it brings vocals up as well, though. And so, with what's to transpire. And also being able to control the bottom end in mono, the mid to the middle section. But it really adds a great sheen. It's not in your face. It's sweet. And that's what you really want. And so for mastering engineers to say, lots of them already have this anyway. But for those that are working in mastering, then this is well worth checking out. It's a great addition from the Brainworks team. It's a great addition to the UAD stable. And I'm using it on mixes. And it's, it's very, very nice. Check it out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.